It's now time for the Rebirth Sports Full Game Recap. We go all the way back to March the 4th of the year 2023 when the Nashville Purs were in Chicago to face off against the Blackhawks. John Hines deploys his post-trade deadline lines in the following way. Leonard Glass and Duchesne, Sherwood, Novak and Evangelista, Asplund, Jankowski and Tomasino, Trennan, Sissons and Smith, Yossi and Fabro, McDonough and Barry, Luzon and Foot make up your defensive pairings. UC Soros gets the start in net. We are just 37 seconds into this clean sheet in Chicago and it's Jones with his eighth goal of the season giving the Blackhawks a one nothing lead it was a redirect off of Athanasio's pass it was the first shot on goal of the game and it was also a perfect redirect into the net putting the Blackhawks on the board in the lead one nothing 153 into the first period Saros comes up with a save on Radish 350 in the first Saros comes up with a save on Dickinson 434 Mrazek comes up with a save on Luzon then 511 Mrazek again coming up with a save on Glass this time 7.58, our first big play of the game. Dickinson's off the box. Two minutes for boarding on Luzon. Definitely a worthy call right here. It'll be Philip Tomasino cashing in for the Nashville Purs on the power play. His second goal of the season, tying the game up at one apiece. It was a rebound put back while he was fighting through traffic, going to the hard area, hard area scoring a greasy goal. Great to see Philip Tomasino getting rewarded. 1-1 hockey game. 11 10 of the first period. Morazic comes up with a save on Sherwood. 12 36 of the first. England's off to the box. Two minutes for boarding. Trennan also off to the box. Two minutes for roughing, or more like retaliation, I should say. It's going to be a four on four. This particular boarding play by England takes place on Tomasino. Tomasino would leave the game, he would not return. UC Soros comes with a save on Gutman during the shorthand scenario. Anderson would go on to hit the crossbar. Looked like it may have also possibly glanced off of UC Soros' helmet. The National Predators come up with the big penalty kill right here in the 4-on-4. Four four. It wasn't even a penalty kill, but it seemed like it. 4-on-4 four four scenario was dominated by the Chicago Blackhawks. 17-53 of the first period. Soros comes up with a save on Radish at the end of the first period. Both teams with nine shots on goal. Both teams with one goal apiece. 2 9 into the second period. Radish hits the post 215. Soros comes up with a save on Caleb Jones. 524. Soros a save on Radish. It is the Chicago Blackhawks just absolutely dominating the early parts of the second period. 639. Sherwood's off the box. Two minutes for interfering. And Soros have to come with a save on Johnson. Solid PK overall. 1028. We would see Barry jam crash attempt have to be stopped by Morazic. So at 1028 of the second period is when the Nashville Predators are awarded their first shot on goal of the period. So you see Soros doing a good job keeping the Nashville Predators in it in the first 10 minutes here. 1208 of the second period. Barry's got his first goal as a Nashville Predator, but it's 11th goal overall on the season. And it was a wrist shot from out high it deflects off of the D and goes into the net Barry gets the Nashville Predators ahead in this game by one now the Preds lead two to one 15 minutes even Mrazic comes up with the save on Tommy Novak 15-01 Gutman's off to the box two minutes for hooking Evangelista was crashing the slot after Novak's shot that Mrazic had to come up with the save not much happening on the power plate for the Nashville Predators so we go to 17-59 in the second that's where Mrazic comes up with the save on Fabro 19-49 Mrazic comes up with the save on foot the Preds just had significant and intense pressure going for a solid 40 seconds here as they were waiting on a delayed penalty call, but they maintained possession all the way until the buzzer at the end of the period, getting one more good chance right at the buzzer. At the 20-minute mark is when that penalty can finally be called, and it's going to be on England two minutes for holding, but we'll have to wait till the third period for that power play to begin for the Nashville Purs. Both teams now at 17 shots on goal after two periods. Carryover of the full two minutes into the third period, but the Preds would be unable to generate any shots on goal during this full two-minute power play on the clean sheet. 255 of the third period. UC Saros comes up with a save on Radish with the mask. 403. Saros a save on Jones. 426. Mrazic a save on Sherwood after a turnover by his D. 608. Mrazic a save on Sisson. 708. Mrazic a save on Foot with the glove. But at 924, it's Tommy Novak's off to the box. Two minutes for hooking. Saros has to come up with a save on Athanasio. Saros then has to come up with a save on Gutman. And the Preds are able to survive. 12 42 of the third period. Morazic comes up with a save on Asplund. 14-54. The captain, Romaniosi, is off to the box along with Jones. Two minutes each. It's going to be a four-on-four -four scenario. Romaniosi was very displeased about being hit up high, and he ends up retaliating both 
off to the box. The 18 minute mark of the third period, we see the empty net scenario. One minute later at 19 even, it would be Saros coming up with a save on Jones through traffic. And with just 30 seconds remaining in the game, it would be Colton Sissons coming up with the empty net goal. His 10th of the season from just outside the blue line. That would give the Nashville Purs a 3 to 1 victory. That would also secure the Nashville Predators this victory on the road trip. They would be outshot 28 to 25 overall in this game. But for the Preds, they did what they had to do. It wasn't the most exciting, the most entertaining, or the most high-volume game. But for the National Predators, they went in Chicago. They picked up two points, and they get out of there with the victory. They are continuing to be relevant when it comes to the wild card and the divisional race, even though they have dismantled a large part of their core and have several key players, especially from the offensive side of things, out injured at this time. For the National Predators, they secure a victory. They move on with the road trip now. They're headed off to Vancouver, then Arizona, L.A., and Anaheim before wrapping up the typical every year March SEC basketball tournament road trip for the Nashville Purse. So good job picking up those two points. A good job by the Nashville Purse stepping up and UC Saros once again comes through big time for the Preds. We've got full analysis and the Renegades of Puck coming up next and also Brian Baston jumping in the trenches with the Renegades tonight. We'll be back right here on the Renegades of Puck podcast.